when Simon first came with us, uh, he would lie in the pasture. He's not able to stand up. I would come out every night and I would read uh, from Plato and I. And uh, he loved the story about this, uh, this Spanish classic about this man and his donkey. And he especially loved the story called Sweetheart about Plato's love for a donkey that uh, he could never meet. So I read that to him yesterday for Thanksgiving, and I'm sharing that with you today. The Sweetheart from Plato and I by Juan Ramon Jimenez. The clear sea breeze comes up the red slope, reaches the meadow of the hilltop, laughs among the delicate little white flowers, Later, it becomes entangled in the young fir trees and rocks, the glowing rose and golden cloudlets, swelling them like subtile sails. The entire evening is now a sea wind, and sun and wind give a restful well-being to the heart. Platero, happy, agile, well-disposed, is carrying me. It is as if I did not weigh on him. We go uphill as easily as we go downhill. In the distance, a brilliant colorless ribbon of sea oscillates between the last pine trees and the seeming island landscape. In the green meadow far below, the white-footed donkeys leap from shrub to shrub. A sensuous tremor pervades the glades. Of a sudden, Platero pricks up his ears, dilates his nostrils and his upraised head until they almost reach his eyes, and exposes his large yellow teeth. He is breathing in from the four winds some deep, indefinable essence that must fill his heart with anguish. Yes, there on another hill, fine against the blue sky, is his beloved. And double brayings, long and sonorous, break with their clamor the luminous hour, then fall like twin waterfalls. I have had to oppose the loving instincts of my poor Platero. The fair beloved watches him pass, as sad as he with her jet black eyes full of reproaches, vain, mysterious. Call rolling over the white daisies like an instinct made flesh, and Platero trots unwillingly, trying at every moment to turn back, a reproach in his little restrained trotting. It is hard to believe, it is hard to believe, it is hard to believe. Lie down, Red. Simon taught me a lot of things, and one of them is that love is very powerful. And seeing him every day come back to life well, by those stories stuck with me. So I thought it would be a good Thanksgiving tradition, and I'll read him the story every year on Thanksgiving.